The temple cleansing in Jerusalem before Passover is recorded in Mark chapter 11 verse 15 to 19, Matthew chapter 21 verse 12 to 17, Luke chapter 19 verse 45 to 48, and John chapter 2 verse 13 to 16. The temple cleansing occurred shortly after Jesus' triumphant entry into Jerusalem, often celebrated on Palm Sunday. It took place as Jesus approached the end of his earthly ministry. After spending time in Bethany, he entered Jerusalem and went to the temple. When Jesus entered the temple, he found it filled with people bustling about, engaging in trade and commerce. The atmosphere was lively, but there was a sense of chaos as animals were being sold and money changes were exchanging coins. The rates were inflated, and merchants exploited worshippers by charging exorbitant prices for sacrificial animals, undermining the original purpose of the temple. Jesus walked through the marketplace, observing the disrespectful activities taking place in what was meant to be a house of worship. Disturbed by what he saw, Jesus made a whip out of cords and began to drive out those who were buying and selling. He overturned the tables and the benches of the money changers, scattering coins and driving out merchants, and setting free all the animals from the temple. He accused them of making God's house a den of robbers. Following this act, the Jewish leaders seek to understand by what authority Jesus is acting. They demanded a sign to prove that he had the right to cleanse the temple. In the Gospel of John chapter 2 verse 19, Jesus referred to his body as the temple, saying, destroy this temple, and in three days I will raise it up. His expression is one of righteous anger, as the temple was meant to be a house of prayer. Jesus's anger in this moment illustrates his deep commitment to holiness and true worship. The temple was meant to be a sacred place for worship and prayer, a dwelling for God's presence among his people. It was the center of Jewish life and worship. After the cleansing, blind and lame people came to Jesus in the temple, and he healed them, demonstrating his authority and compassion. The chief priests and scribes were indignant at the children's praises to Jesus, shouting, Hosanna to the son of David. They confronted Jesus about this, but he quoted scripture, emphasizing that God ordains praise even from infants. This points to the idea that genuine worship comes from the heart, regardless of age or status. Psalm chapter 8 verse 2, out of the mouth of infants and nursing babies, you have prepared praise. Jesus' actions demonstrate his zeal for maintaining the sanctity of the temple. This incident highlights the importance of spiritual integrity over material gain. The response of the priests and scribes indicates that they were more concerned with their position and the status quo than with true worship and justice. His cleansing signifies a call to purity in worship and a return to a genuine relationship with God rather than ritual and commercialism. The act of cleansing the temple encourages Christians to examine their own lives. Are there areas where we have allowed distractions, sin, or corruption to take root? Just as Jesus cleansed the temple, we are called to invite him into our lives to cleanse us and restore our focus on God. The church today is called to be a place where believers come together to worship, pray, and support one another. In 1 Corinthians chapter 6 verse 19, Paul reminds believers that their bodies are temples of the Holy Spirit. This reinforces the idea that the sacredness of worship extends beyond physical spaces into our lives. We are to live in such a way that reflects God's holiness and love. Thank you for watching this video. Please press the like button, smash the subscribe button, share, and leave a comment.